Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Understanding Healthcare here at CAN TV. I'm Steve Nicotopoulos, a staff member here, and we come to you every week to try to talk about how the Affordable Care Act affects you. Uh, so over the next 25 minutes, we're going to go over a series of uh, topics. We're going to be here to answer questions. If you want to call in, the number is on the screen, 312-738-1060. So over the next 25 minutes, feel free to call in with any questions you have. Today, we are joined by uh, Mr. Charles Watkins from Get Covered Illinois. Mr. Watkins, thank you for being here. Steve, thanks for having me. Sure. Uh, Mr. Watkins, I'm going to show your uh, name and title real quick on the screen for everybody. Now, you're the Regional Outreach Coordinator for Get Covered Illinois, uh, Office of the Governor. Now, Get Covered Illinois, we've been talking about that every week on this show. We've been showing the website and talking about all the work that you guys are doing. So it's, uh, it's a pleasure to have you here. And um, this, is, uh, this is somebody who definitely has some answers for everybody, but at the same time, we're here to remind everybody it's time to enroll. Uh, how many days do we have left? There are is it 12, 12, 12, March 31st is our date, so it's March 12, 31st. 12 days, okay. So um, tell us a little bit about um, how Get Covered Illinois works. What, what's the role that you play there? Certainly. Well, Get Covered Illinois is, is several things. It's the uh, Illinois implementation team for the Affordable Care Act here in Illinois. Uh, it's also a call to action, uh, and it's a website. Uh, getcoveredillinois.gov, mm -hmm. Illinois, the full word, gov, and I think that'll be on the screen in a short while. Mm -hmm. But it, the call to action is that we want every Illinois resident, every Illinois consumer to be covered, to be protected, their, both their health as well as their personal finances. That's what's really important to us, is that every Illinois consumer, every resident, have the opportunity to be covered. And we want them to be covered, and we want them to be protected. Mm -hmm. So a basic step one for everybody um, is to go to the website itself. So it's getcoveredillinois.gov, okay? And then, of course, if you want to talk by phone and you want to meet a navigator, somebody who's there to help you figure out what you, what, how to sign up for everything, uh, that number is 866-311-1119. And we'll come back to this information throughout the show. But, um, so, over, overall, the organization, it reaches across the entire state, but... Do you, do you focus on a certain region in Illinois? Yes. There, there are, I'm a regional outreach coordinator. Mm -hmm. There are 10 regions in the state, uh, touching every corner of it. Um, my responsibility primarily is for Chicago South, which is from the southern Chico Chicago border to the South Loop, and from the lake. For most of the region, it goes west to Cicero. Uh, as it moves further north, it comes further east, uh, but but that's the basic boundaries of it. So it's a, a large geographic region. There are lots of residents. And prior to October 1st, prior to the start of our open enrollment period, there were approximately 114,000 uninsured adults. Uh, there will not be 114,000 uninsured adults in that region at the end of open enrollment. We've been working very hard. All of our partners, supportive groups, our navigators have been working extraordinarily hard and we are enrolling lots of people, lots of consumers in Illinois are being protected. That's fantastic, and you know, thank you for all your efforts that you've been doing. Obviously, people who are signing up for health care are going to see somewhere down the line that it's going to pay off for them. Uh, can you talk a little bit about why is it important to get coverage? Certainly. Um, the law says that there are penalties associated with not having uh, coverage. And that's important. It is the law. It is the law of the land. What Get Covered Illinois and what I am most interested in is for each consumer to make certain that their health care is covered and that they are protected, their health is protected, as well as their personal finances. Uh, as you know, Steve, most uh, bankruptcies in the U.S. are the result of medical bills. Uh, we don't want to have people have that kind of burden anymore when there are these great options available to them. We want them to have peace of mind, health and peace of mind, and both things are very, very important to us. Mm -hmm. So let me talk a little bit about the website uh, before we talk a little bit more about some of these issues. I want to show everybody the website. This is live right now. So you can see there's a Get Covered Illinois. You have a series of drop-down menus that are basically set up to help everybody get answers. And I, I tend to like to go to the FAQ section underneath Get Answers here. 
where you can actually find a lot of individualized questions that some people might have about how to sign up directly. You see, it's as simple as just going through and basically picking whichever question helps you it helps you out. And there's the answers written out right there for you. And uh, I'll go back to the website in a little bit to show you a little bit more about how to sign up. If I could just point out just mm -hmm. a couple of things about the website that are, should be of particular interest to consumers mm -hmm. is one, find an event. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a tremendous amount of enrollment events where, where consumers can go and actually work with our navigators and get enrolled right on site. Mm -hmm. That's very important for them to know how they can access that. There are enrollment events through the 31st of March in every community of Illinois. The second is uh, the fine local assistance. Mm -hmm. uh, and that way that they can call the toll-free help desk number or they can go, for those that can access the web, they can go there and find local assistance, find our navigators right in their community. They can put in their address mm -hmm. and it will come up with the, the navigator groups that, that are conveniently located for them. So that is Get Covered Illinois. And the main page, right in this bottom right corner here, is where you can find some local help in your immediate area. And then right up here in the drop down, Stay Informed, is where you can go to events and basically type in what neighborhood you're looking for events in. Exactly. So, yeah. It's and there are an, uh, it has been an intense effort to make certain that we have events scheduled, enrollment events scheduled through the 31st of March so that every consumer here in Illinois has the opportunity to get enrolled. And let's go ahead and just remind everybody of that real quick. This is a very, very important date here, March 31st, 2014. Now, why is this the date that everybody's got to be paying attention to? March 31st is the date that is the end of the open enrollment period for individuals on the private insurance marketplace. So for those individuals that are going to be going to uh, enroll, we want them to we want them to go enroll now. Uh, we don't want them to wait until midday on the 31st, although that option remains. We we want them to beat the crush. We're expecting that there's going to be a tremendous tremendous interest in enrolling as we move forward, and the trends have uh, supported that. More people are enrolling in the last two weeks. Uh, there's just nationally and in Illinois, there's just been a tremendous rush to coverage. And that's a very, very encouraging sign. So we want people to step up now, uh, find an enrollment event, find a navigator in their community, and get enrolled. Mm -hmm. But that is the last day for open enrollment uh, for the private insurance marketplace. So today's March 19th, 12 days left. Um, and again, just to remind everybody, we're talking today with uh, Charles Watkins, Regional Outreach Coordinator for Get Covered Illinois out of the Office of the Governor. Now, uh, Mr. Watkins, um, you know, we, we do this TV show here at CAN. We try to help people get informed, have to remind everybody that it's time to enroll. Um, there's a lot of organizations across Chicago that are basically getting the word out. So people in whatever neighborhood you live in, you might have heard, you know, this group talking about signing up for uh, health care, the Affordable Care Act, this and this. Now, you have worked with a lot of neighborhoods, communities to help get the word out. Can you talk about how you try to help coordinate with organizations in, in the region? Certainly. There's been, uh, fortunately, here in Illinois, we have had tremendous support from uh, elected officials, uh, from community-based organizations, from faith-based organizations. There's been a great, great collaboration, uh, a partnership, if you will. So it begins with our navigator groups. Those are the uh, community-based organizations that have been trusted and established in communities all over the state that have been funded through grants from the, either the state or the federal government and they've been specially trained, specially certified to provide consumer education, outreach, and importantly, enrollment services. Uh, there are 1,500 that have been trained and certified, over 1,500 here in the state. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're affiliated with community-based organizations that already have trusted relationships. Uh, faith-based organizations. I have the privilege of uh, providing some leadership for our state uh, faith initiative. And so churches, mosques, synagogues throughout the state, they've been just tremendous partners speaking from, from, uh, from a point of faith, uh, both within their churches, synagogues, and mosques, and out into the community as community leaders. 
uh, we just have had tremendous support here in the, the state of Illinois. Mm -hmm. Now it seems like it because we've we've at Can TV we had a lot of different groups come in to talk about this. Sure, and they're they're also supporter organizations, edu what we call educational partners, such as Enroll America, mm -hmm. uh, Organizing for Action, Planned Parenthood. They're they're just here in Illinois. There is a real critical mass of support and interest in the Affordable Care Act and its implementation here. And let's take a moment here to talk about what kind of benefits you get when you sign up for health care. Now, one of the things is that people assume that, you know, health care is something that I'm only ever going to need if I have to take an ambulance somewhere or if, you know, I get hit by a car walking across the street or something like that. Um, but in fact, there are a whole series of different categories that are covered by the Health Care Act. Can you talk about some of the benefits or at least the most important benefits that you want to highlight that people might not realize? Certainly. Um, there, first, I'd like to mention there are really two pathways to coverage. Mm -hmm. uh, one uh, is through the private insurance marketplace, and that is uh, private insurance companies that are selling uh, private insurance plans, and most Illinois residents will receive generous subsidies from the federal government. Okay. The other pathway is for low-income individuals, and it's through Illinois Medicaid. Both pathways offer comprehensive, quality, and affordable. Typically, there's no monthly premium associated with Illinois Medicaid, but real quality and affordable options for consumers, depending on what their financial and household situations are. So, okay. and the benefits that we're going to talk about are going to be paralleled in both the private insurance marketplace as well as Illinois Medicaid. So, irrespective of what the income levels are, okay, uh, th they will be protected. This and is one of the good things about the Affordable Care Act, is that these are the essential health benefits that Correct. Have. The 10 essential health benefits that have to be available. So, uh, let me go ahead and go full screen with this overhead here. I'm actually going to zoom in just a little bit more. Um, so... The basic ones, we have prescription drugs, okay, that's something that uh, more people than not need help with nowadays, the, the price of prescription drugs does go up. Uh, rehabilitative care, emergency services, maternity and newborn care, preventative and wellness services, uh, pediatric services, dental and vision, uh, mental health and substance abuse services, hospital visits, ambulance service, laboratory services. Now, what are, what are some of these services here that you want to highlight while we have this overhead up? Sure. Uh, the, the first is that many of us have had some experience with, with um, being enrolled in health care insurance, health insurance. Um, and many of these are very familiar to those that have been involved with that. But the full list of those 10 essential benefits, um, I, I think that if we rack our minds uh, that we will not, we'll realize that it has not been often that we've had all 10 of those present in one basic health insurance policy. Mm -hmm. two, two or three things that I want to really highlight. The first has to do with preventive services. Mm -hmm. we, we believe that we know what preventive means to, to stop something from happening, but for the Affordable Care Act, preventive services, preventive care means something very, very specific. It is the class of services that do not cause out-of-pocket expenses to, to happen. So it, with the uh, basic health insurance coverage, it includes preventive services. What that means to the consumer, and that's where the rubber hits the road, what it means to an individual consumer. What it means to an individual consumer is that many of the diagnostic testing that would require a co-payment, an out-of-pocket expense for the, the doctor's visit and for the testing, will be at no additional cost. So things like mammograms, colonoscopies, uh, things like that, those kinds of diagnostic tests, immunizations, mm -hmm. are at no additional cost. There would not be the copay, the out-of-pocket expenses for doctor visit, nor for the, the actual procedure of testing. Uh, that's very, very important and, and something that consumers should evaluate as they look at the plans and coverage that, that are available to them. The other thing, uh, an additional thing, is that for, for women's health, uh, things like FDA-approved birth control devices and birth control methods mm -hmm. are at no out-of-pocket cost. If it is medically prescribed by a doctor or, or the, the appropriate health practitioner, it is at no out-of-pocket cost. 
it's included in the cost of, of their, their, their basic health care. And in, in the case of uh, Illinois Medicaid, there, there generally is not a premium associated with that. The other thing I really want to highlight is the uh, substance, mental health and substance disorder coverage. Mm -hmm. um, in most health insurance plans, uh, those kinds of things are not covered. And if they're covered, uh, it's because there's an additional rider that requires additional payment. So this is huge in communities all over Illinois. Uh, mental health issues, substance use issues have ravaged communities. Many of the communities that I have responsibility for and all over the state. And this has the potential of being a real game changer. It provides opportunities for those families that have been touched by either of those two things, and sometimes both, mm -hmm. uh, it provides a lifeline for them. And importantly, those services have to be provided on parity, P-A-R-I-T-Y, mm -hmm. on par with the physical uh, um, illnesses and disorders. So if I have a broken leg, the treatment, how long I could be in a hospital if it were a very severe break, that has to be somehow compared to what my hospital stay might be if, that, if I had a mental health or substance use disorder. Mm -hmm. It's going to change lives and it's going to have a real impact on communities all over Illinois. Mm -hmm. And I want to remind everybody the best place to go to start doing your research on all of this is Get Covered Illinois. But at this point, it's time to get enrolled because March 31st is coming up. If you need help finding a navigator in your neighborhood, you can also call 866 311 one 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 nine and also I want to go back to the website here because you did talk about a few things here that I want to remind people they're easy to look up now in the Illinois website get covered Illinois and this is a live a live look at the website right now um, I'm gonna go down to get answers and then go down to the glossary section um, now as people are getting more familiar with health care and signing up for it there are certain terms like for instance copay you can just click onto copay and get a nice big easy description of it. Copay is a fixed amount that you pay for health care services covered by your plan, like a doctor visit usually paid when you receive care. And of course there's more information about that in the website too. So if you if, if some of this terminology is new to you, if you're still getting familiarized with it, uh, the Get Covered Illinois website is a pretty good resource for going through some of these terms. Now I want to remind everybody real quick, we do have about a little less than 10 minutes left in the show, so if you do have any questions, the number is on the screen, 312-738-1060. Today we're joined by Charles Watkins, who comes to visit us from uh, the Get Covered Illinois main office out of the governor. Uh, he's the regional outreach coordinator. Now, also I wanted to ask you about, uh, in the communities that you are working in, are there any general trends that you're trying to pay attention to during this enrollment period? Well, the, the in enrollment pace is picking up. Mm -hmm. uh, the trends, uh, both nationally and Illinois, are very, very encouraging. But one of the things that is important for us is not to rest on any encouragement. We want to continue. We want to close this out through March 31st. We want to provide that protection that peace of mind for every Illinois resident. And so the trends, uh, particularly since uh, January 1st, have been very, very encouraging. They, the pace of enrollment has increased, particularly over the last several weeks, uh, both in terms of the private insurance marketplace as well as Illinois Medicaid. But we just need to keep our, our foot on the pedal and make certain that we have opportunities for Illinois consumers to be protected and get that peace of mind. And that's great. You know, the, the rush to sign up is a worry, um, but at the same time, it's something that is most likely, you know, going to happen at some points. The, the big date coming up is March 31st, but it's something people can go sign up for right now. Uh, exactly. I mean, mostly I would never say turn off the show and go do something, but in this case, feel free to turn off the show, go online, start to, start to sign up if you need to. There's only 12 days left, so it's worth getting getting that going as soon as possible. Um, now, there is a penalty associated with not signing up for health care before March 31st, and I believe that penalty has to do with 
uh, tax season being just a few weeks later, April 15th. Can you talk a little bit about the penalty that is uh, accrued if people don't sign up for coverage? Certainly. Again, I want to emphasize that the, the penalty is the penalty, <clears throat> and I'll discuss that, but the main reason people should re seek coverage is so that they're protected. Mm -hmm. uh, the penalty for 2014 is either $95 per uninsured person or 1% of the household income, <clears throat> pardon me, um, and it goes up each year uh, after that. It, it ratchets it up significantly in years 2015-2016. The tax penalty would be assessed when the 2014 tax filing is made, which typically would be done in the winter or spring of 2015. Mm -hmm. We hope that for most consumers that that does not become an issue, uh, but it is the reality of the law. We want people to be protected. We want them to enroll. We want them to enroll now. We want them to enroll prior to the 31st of March. Okay. And since nobody's calling in at the moment, I'm going to barrage you one more time with the GetCoveredIllinois.gov website. That's a great place to go to get the sign up going. Let me go back to the website, actually, because I want to show you real quickly how easy this is. So this is, again, the, the website is as it looks. In this green area right here on the bottom, you can see there's a, there's a thing that you click on that says see your options. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And right here you see let's get started. Now this is a very basic way to go through signing up. And of course you're going to start filling in a few questions to make sure that you're going in the right direction. For instance, the first one being are you signing up for yourself? For yourself and someone else who lives with you someone else who does not live with you or a small business or nonprofit so basically by clicking on these you go through these steps of how the website can help you sign up so that's a pretty basic way of doing that one of the things mentioned there was are you signing up for a small business um, you, you were saying that enrollment is happening right now for small businesses yes our small business health options program or shop Small Business Health Options Program is alive and well. There are great opportunities for small business owners, uh, and small business would be 50 full-time employees or less. Uh, provide some great options for that business owner to select a health, for 2014, to select one health insurance plan, to send a computer link to uh, that employer's uh, employees, and they can sign up for coverage. The employer would define what contribution they're going to make to the monthly premium, and they're off and running. Uh, the reality is that for 2014, the enrollment for the shop, the Small Business Health Option Program, needs to be done offline. It has to be done in, in a paper form or over the telephone, mm. uh, but it is alive and well. The, the other thing that I wanted to just mention is I've mentioned the two paths for coverage, either the Illinois Medicaid for generally low-income consumers and then the private insurance marketplace. Illinois Medicaid, generally speaking, does not have a monthly premium associated with it. And the vast, vast, vast majority of Illinois residents that select a plan on the private insurance marketplace have been receiving very generous subsidies from the federal government. One or two types of the federal uh, types of subsidy, subsidies from the federal government. So there's very, very generous support and, and it helps put the affordable in the Affordable Care Act. We have consumers that are paying um, very, very low premiums after the support from the federal government. That's great. Thank you very much. And just a reminder, today we've had Charles Watkins talking with us. He's the Regional Outreach Director for Get Covered Illinois. That website, so make sure you go visit getcoveredillinois.gov. It's a great place to research health care and sign up. Uh, before we end, any last things that you want to remind everybody of before we leave? Peace of mind, protection, March 31st. We want you to be protected, we want you to have that peace of mind, and we want you to have that coverage prior to March 31st. Please go now, do what you need to do, see a navigator, place a call to our help desk, come out to an enrollment event, protect yourself, protect your family, protect your health, and protect your personal finances. Charles, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate Thank you very much, time. Steve. We appreciate you having and us. And thanks to Claire for helping us set up the interview. And thanks to Sylvia on phones. 
This has been another episode of Understanding Healthcare. Thank you for watching. We'll be back next Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. here on Channel 21 CAN-TV. Thanks, everybody. Have a good night. Thank you so much.